The thing that unites everything that I do is that I'm trying to find a way to describe to everyone, not just Christians and not just those that are far from Christ, but I'm trying to describe to all of the people something about the benefit, something about the wrestle of faith, something about the joy of being with Jesus and following him, but also some of the struggle of that. Do you understand what I'm saying with that? This, the, the two things that are involved there. And I'm not doing it just for those that are far from faith, and I'm not just doing it for Christians either, but I'm acknowledging that that's part of everyone's journey, as it's certainly part of my journey as someone that follows Jesus. That some days I'm in the sweet spot and I feel like I'm pretty close to who Jesus is, and then other days I'm far from that and thinking, what is going on here? And then other days, I'm trying to find where even God is in the day because I feel like he's just so far away. I don't even sense that he's there. And there have been moments in my life when I've lost faith and I've regained faith. So all of that I'm trying to describe when I draw a picture or do something creative. So if you look at this image, those images that are out there are to do with Easter. They're directly linked to the Easter story. But I am choosing the moments within that Easter story, because I'm not illustrating the whole story, but I'm choosing the moments that resonate with me, if that makes sense. So I'm telling something about myself in this image of Mary hugging Jesus. And I, myself, picture myself as Mary in this scene. And so I think, what would be my reaction to seeing Jesus come back to life? And then I think again and think, what would be my reaction when I thought all hope was lost? Can you picture Mary for a moment? If you know the story, there's multiple days where they think Jesus is dead and gone. I know we know the story changes. I know. So don't mishear me. But just picture them for a, for a moment. They think Jesus is gone. <laughs> and everything they had hoped for in Jesus is gone. And then she sees physical Jesus standing in front of her and she realizes that even though she felt despair, Jesus was true to his word and he's here again. He's standing in front of her and she gets to do something. I imagine she does this scene. So I picture myself and I think this would be my reaction after thinking that someone was gone. This would be my reaction to understanding that Jesus isn't just true to his word for this life, but he's true to his word for our eternal life and everything that he promised. And that overwhelming sense of joy is what I'm trying to describe there. And then there's three others that are in that scene, in the drawings that are out there. There's Jesus who's on the cross, and on the right-hand side, Jesus is just being hammered to the to the post, and on the left-hand side, his arm, his hand lies limp as he's dead. So I'm describing two ends of the spectrum. And then the other two people are Peter and Judas, who for me tell the story of who I am. Because both of them are complicated characters in the story here. Both of them, at some point in their life, followed Jesus closely for years not days or weeks, but for years, were heavily invested with him. And then both of them, in a moment, turn their back on him and declare out loud, I don't even know you. And then both of them get to see, well, Peter gets to see the risen Jesus. And some of their emotions is what I'm trying to describe in that story. But this is telling a story of Peter and Jesus as Jesus is crucified, and then telling a story of Peter and Judas after crucifixion. All of that is to say that when I come to talk about faith and Jesus and following Jesus, I'm very rarely trying to just illustrate the passage. I don't really care whether you know the story that well. I would love you to know the story well, but I don't care precisely about that when I'm doing art. What I care about is trying to do something to invoke a response from the viewer. 
And what I'm trying to do there is to put my heart on the line, declare something of my journey, and hope that it resonates with you.